good morning. <laughs> I can't believe that I just slept in my car in the middle of this beautiful little patch of vines here. <gasps> Look what I get to wake up to. This apartment hotel cost me zero dollars a night. And look at the location. Look at the location. In the daytime, you can see the clusters of grapes so much clearer, and they are fresh bunches of juicy, freaking plump grapes. Look at this. And if you could feel this, it's like, you know how you hold a piece of fruit and it's firm? You can tell it's very, very firm, but you know there's a lot of juice in it. That's what this feels like. They almost feel like bouncy balls. You guys know bouncy balls, the little rubber ones? They're just gonna rip this off, boom, make it into wine. Crazy thing, somebody's gonna drink the wine from that grape right there that I touched. We're gonna drive to the nearest winery, which is just down the road, and then we're gonna go to the Hennessy factory. The city of Cognac which is actually named after a group of people that met to oppose the Habsburg Empire, like way back in the day. This was a city that was important during the Hundred Years War between the French and the English, and I read online that it often switched sides, depending on which kingdom was winning at the time. So you see influences of the English and the French here. I'm on my way, I'm going to the Hennessy tour, hopefully. They have a tour at 1.30 in English. The only English one of the day, and let's see if we can get in. If we can get in, I will be happy. Yo, all right, I'm in the city center. There it is, Hennessy, look at this sign. They got a big old flag. This is the castle that we saw last night, right in the middle of the city. Because it was, like I said, during the Hundred Years' War, they needed a castle because this thing was constantly being besieged and just attacked on all sides, which is wild. Oh my goodness. Got the river, people kayaking. See those guys? Yee. All right, let's go see if they got a tour. I'm excited, I'm going on a tour in 30 minutes, and right now I'm just chilling in the section where they sell Hennessy. So this is the Hennessy bottle. If you guys know this, Hennessy, very special, cognac. And cognac is produced in cognac, France. I love those facts. I love those facts. When there's a specific place that has a history that's associated with a product that is worldwide. So cognac, here, Bordeaux wines in Bordeaux. Uh, Dijon is a city in France where they make the mustard. And Hennessy is a cognac, and cognac is brandy. And brandy is distilled wine, which means that wine is taken, vaporized, and condensed so that the normal 10 to 15% alcohol content in wine is distilled into 43% alcohol. Legit. Also, Hennessy was started by an Irish soldier that was fighting for the French, and he discovered the wine that was distilled, enjoyed it, sent it back to his friends in Ireland. They wanted more, and he thought, maybe I'll just start a business exporting cognac or brandy to my friends. And now, a 100 years later, the same family owns the company. I'm about to start the official Hennessy tour. <laughs> this is my tour guide, Maxime. And he's fluent in English, French, and what else? Russian. Oh, Russian. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Honestly, meeting people in Europe, they know so many languages. So he's <laughs> gonna teach me about Hennessy. We're gonna go through the whole tour, and it's gonna be a good time. On boat, so please follow me. We're going on a boat, baby. Saint-Jacques, the towers on the right, because at the time, a bridge linked this gate to the quarter of Saint-Jacques, located on the other side. All right, so 
this is pretty much the main city of Cognac. And that's where they make Hennessy. Down there is the old castle. And then further beyond is this building where King Francois I was born. And it's all in this little area, so. We are continuing our tour on the uh, opposite side of the river from where the, uh, the bottling plant is. They also said that this river made many cities that were on it very rich because initially they transported salt and whatever city was involved with the salt transport grew up super big and that's what happened with cognac. First was salt and then Hennessy and transporting wine and spirits. Yeah. In the front row kicking back old school crash like damn. Can't get enough of this more like The blending is an art. It is here that the master blender will use the nose and the palate to recreate always the same cognacs of our collection each year. Cognac is a blend of different brandies. So these are all brandies. The, the top of the top eau de vie and then the master blender will find the best combination of the different brandies to put into Hennessy. So in order to make one barrel, in order to make one batch of the Exo Hennessy, right? Or any of the Hennessy's, they take, they take samples or barrels of 30 different kinds of Hennessy to produce one taste, 30 for another taste, and then four times, and then once they get this combination perfectly, which is the master blender's job, then they take all of these four blends to make this blend, and they put it in a barrel for two years, and then boom bada bing, you got it done. This is what the wine looks like when it's double distilled. It's white before it becomes aged in the barrels. Just like that, alcohol, 70% content. Yo, we're in the cellar where they age the barrels of Hennessy and it smells like Hennessy, obviously, because the pores of the wood release the vapors and you can smell it, the whole thing, just like this. And he also told us something, that the vapors of alcohol cause a specific fungus to grow on the walls. That's why the walls are black. And you can see closer, look. But for this process, that's a good thing, so really cool. So the best version is Let me break it down right quick for my haters, my dictators, and bad raiders. Since you never seem to get it right no more, then right no more. Kick back your feet and watch your back. All right, we're gonna check out the paradise, which is where the best of the best cognacs, based on like the taste and smell of the master blender, are stored. So they taste all these barrels and then they put the best of the best in the paradise. So as you can see here, behind these gates, there is the paradise. And on the right is written 1815. I don't know if you can imagine, 1815, in 1815, Napoleon was alive at this time. Also, it's a tradition for them to write in chalk. They kept that for the last couple hundred years. Uh, the person that made the barrel has to sign the barrel. Each barrel is made by hand, and it takes one day to make each barrel 800 euros to buy it, and they keep it for, I don't know, 100 years. All right, so now we're going to the tasting committee's private room where they taste. You said every day they taste? Yes, sir. Every day during the selection of the Odevi. Every day during the, ta the selection of the Eau de Vies, yeah. the tasting committee, which is made up of six members, including the master blender, they meet in a room on an empty stomach in the morning and they pick the best of the best. This tour is amazing. If you are in the area of southwestern France, definitely come here. If you're interested, it's not just the history of a drink, it's like the history of a culture. Only master blender and tasting committee can go there. Okay, so we actually can't go in the same room only the master blender and the tasting committee can go inside. Yeah. Even our guide has not been there. It's on lockdown because they don't want the uh, secret formula, you know? Krabby Patty's getting out. Cognac 
has an amber colored center. So they say, you drink it, you don't smell it, you t keep it in your mouth for five seconds so that you can get the full taste. So, we are this young curry. We have, so this light vibration. That's a good idea. So the reason why you have cognac in your mouth for five seconds without breathing is so the alcohol smell isn't overpowering the tobacco, the fruit notes, you know? It's a good idea. Wine you can breathe because it's less alcohol. It's smoother with ice cubes. All right, this is the cocktail. Agave syrup, lime juice, and VSOP. That's delicious, actually. This is super interesting. The tasting was awesome. This is the cognac, very special, which is a little bit more alcohol potent. So this is the one that he recommended drinking, not breathing, five seconds. And he said you can mix this one because some people don't like it super strong. This is the one right here, the Hennessy VSOP, that people like drinking straight because it's a little more smooth. A very interesting thing is if you add ice cubes to the Hennessy Very Special, swirl it around, it becomes less potent. So that's a good trick. Also, adding Hennessy into a cocktail is delicious, and he said a lot more people are doing that now, and it's definitely worth it with the lemon juice and the agave. All right, now we're going to the special Boutique. We are in the gift shop and Hennessy has some amazing limited edition things in here. And we, we, he just told us that the Hennessy Black right here, this is only sold in America at nightclubs and bars. And this Hennessy Pure White is only sold in the Caribbean. So you can obviously get it here at the Hennessy factory or in the Caribbean. The bottle is made to represent the shape of a rum bottle because rum was very, very popular and still is in the Caribbean. I'm all about the special editions. Like, look at these. They, they, they did a partnership with specific artists that made different uh, labels. So that one's really cool. This one right here is from a famous tattoo artist from LA. His name's Scott, Scott Campbell. And actually in 2025, they're gonna do a collaboration with this travel YouTuber named Connor Sullivan and he's gonna make this sick label with like designs from all the places that he's gone, so. This special edition is only available in China and Russia, but not everywhere, at the airport. This one. And the guy that was doing the tour said that this is one of his favorites. I don't know, should I buy it? All right, I'm looking at this crazy crystal bottle of Hennessy. What is this again? It's a limited edition. Yes, the, the bottle are made when uh, we have some uh, orders from uh, clients. Okay. And so it's... Um, it's, it's made um, of crystal? Crystal, yes, Bacar crystal. And it's to symbolize so the eighth generation of the master blender in the family. The eighth generation of the master blender of like Hennessy. So this is like the person that knows how to mix it all together to make it legit. And this bottle costs how much? 75,000. 75,000 euros. euros. So that's like 85,000 US. Yeah. That's insane. So if I have this money, can I purchase this now? Yes. Like if I come, I, hey, <laughs> I can buy it, I can leave with this? Oh, you cannot like this, but we, you will have to make an order and after we okay. send you to you or uh, you can bring you. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> you want like and subscribe so I can buy this uh, Hennessy bottle. <laughs> this is actually a drawing entirely done by Bic Pen, a blue Bic Pen by the French artist, I'm reading off the sign, Kevin Lucbert, and this was inspired from his meeting of the master. 
This was, this was inspired by his meeting of the master Blennessy. Uh, this was inspired by his meeting of the master blender of Hennessy. Basically what it depicts is the master blender right here. See him? You can see his figure. He's wandering through this forest that has so many different ways to go. It's a magical type of forest and it symbolizes the master blender's navigation through finding the perfect blend of Hennessy. I thought that was very cool. Nice work of art. Entirely with a big pen, anything is possible. All right, man. All right, so my tour, my tour of Cognac as a city and Hennessy as a factory is over. I'm not gonna go through everything because I have to get to Bordeaux. I got a little keepsake. This is Hennessy Classium. Hennessy Classium bottle. Uh, I just got this because I'm here and I figured I should have it on my shelf or give it to a friend of mine as a present. So, very nice. Come check out Cognac if you can. I would definitely recommend it. And even better, if you can, sleep in a vineyard. Sleep in a vineyard with all the grapes because it's cool. Bring a tent, why not?